Hello YouTube watchers, it's Sanction here, Mark. I'm in the studio and I'm going to show you how I make jungleistic style pads, that sort of old school jungle floaty pad thing without resorting to sampling something. So we're going to start with a patch from Serum and we're going to bounce that down and put it into contact and hopefully turn it into something that sounds like one of those old school pads. I use them quite a lot in my tracks, especially the more sort of 140 future jungle stuff. But you could use anything, you know, new jungle tune, old style jungle tune, even a garage kind of tune, anything really. Um, so we're going to start, this is a serum patch, just one of the built-in pad sounds, quite a standard pad, centipede if you're looking at your um, factory bank. And it just sounds like this, we play a minor chord. You know, it's kind of a standard saw wave kind of pad. Um, but what we're going to do is make a chord. And uh, well, we could just do a, mi a minor chord, like a C minor. And we could bounce that down, and that'd sound quite cool anyway. Um, but what I want to do is make so, make a chord, a C chord, um, that sounds fairly jungly anyway. So we maybe add like the top note of that. So like that already sounds that already sounds a little bit more jungly, right? Uh, or we can start adding the F in there as well. That's quite a sort of summary thing. Or we can add a D in. Quite like that. If we add both in. It's maybe a little bit much. So I think maybe let's go with this. So it's the C, D, D sharp, G, um, B flat, A sharp. So let's quickly record that in. Purposely record quite a long note because we're going to bounce that down in a second. Uh, so let's set our markers. We want a bit of that reverb at the end. So we'll probably export to that 10 marker. Um, Cubase has got a really cool feature. I'm sure pretty much every DOW has a similar thing, but if we render that in place now, we'll get a wave file. Uh, and we can just make that a bit louder and bounce it down to a new file. So now we've got. So if we open up uh, File Explorer and I'm going to go to, uh, I might as well show you on here. I'm going to go to where that hit is. So I have my QBS arrangements section 2018 and Studio YouTube's Pads Audio. And let's set this by date created. And there's our audio. But what we're gonna do now is create an instance of contact or any sampler that you prefer. And we're basically just gonna drag that sample in. So now when we play a C in contact, that plays the stab, um, sorry, the pad that we've just made. Now we can go in and tweak some stuff if we want. It's still a bit of quiet, so we'll go to the sample editor and we will normalize. Oh, we've got to select it first. Like I said, I haven't planned this out, so if I make some mistakes, I do apologize. Uh, so we selected the sample, let's normalize that. There we go. Nice and loud now. And already we start playing notes, you get a feel for it. That already kind of sounds halfway there. So the next thing to do, let's maybe, um, we maybe don't want all of that attack. So in our sample, let's go back to our main window on contact and maybe tweak the start point or two. Feels like quite a lot of attack. I think kind of there sounds good, and we'll add some actual envelope attack on there. That sounds kind of cool. We'll add a little touch more release. And we're getting there now. 
let's add some effects, nothing too exciting. Let's go with a built-in cubase ping pong delay, set that to quarter bar. Feedback at 50, that'll do. We'll cut off some of the bottom end. Keep it quite wide on the spacey stuff, maybe down to about 20% here. There you go, that sounds pretty cool. Nice and simple, jungleistic. Uh, yeah, let's try another one. Let's go, let's try a different synth this time. Let's go with uh, Lethal. I've talked about these in other videos. I only have the demo version um, because I only ever use one sound out of here. That's String01, which is your typical 90s old school string. So maybe we could just do, we'll just try a minor chord on this, just a minor triad, nothing as complicated as the chord we played earlier. So just a C, C sharp, E. Or maybe we do a major one actually, we did a minor one, so let's go C, E, G. Play that an octave up. A little bit loud. And we'll do the same here. We'll render that. Let's uh, do that. So we get a wave file and we'll start off an instance of contact. And we'll drag that sample in. If I drag the correct sample in, that will be dangerous. <laughs> there we go, that's the one. And again, we'll add some effects. Just a little ping pong delay, maybe some reverb on this one as well. Let's make this a bit more feedbacky. Uh, touch and reverb. There's an insert. Probably should do this as a send effect, but for the purposes of this video, don't really need to. I'll keep the dry right up. There's probably a little bit too much delay. I will cut some more bottom end off as well. So the minor chord doesn't quite sound as jungly. Um, but it's the same principle. And then you could start sort of layering things. So like we've got that, that chord there. We could go back to our serum and play play the bass note to that. So let's play uh, let's just play a little riff in here. Typical of that era, I think. This quantize my terrible playing. Now what we could do, oops, what we could do is go back to our original synth sound and put in the root notes that fit with that. Um, maybe tweak the attack on that's a little bit much. So basically, we're getting the same sound without the chord, doing a, the root notes to that. So let's drag that MIDI up, and knock it down an octave or two. And let's go up there. Play those together. It's maybe a little bit low, does it sound like? Yeah. I'll maybe take some of that release off as well. The release. And maybe some of that delay, we don't need that on a bass note. And the reverb. Sounding much nicer already. Let's sell these velocities. Yeah. 
chucking a name and break. Job done. Simple as that. Um, if you like what uh, I'll be doing here, don't forget to like the video, subscribe, all that nonsense. Um, I'll see you next time. Bye.